Hey, what's going on guys? It's David here. Welcome to another devotional Saturday. So had a nice dinner outside with my mama. She made an awesome taco something. I forget what it's called. It's actually really good. It was like uh, these little mini shells and this meat and all the good stuff. It was excellent. We had it right here outside. It's a beautiful day. Um, it's coming to the end of summer, but I do love this weather. It's nice and cool. Uh, so we would enjoy it outside. So. Here I am outside, we're filming, my mom's filming for me. So, uh, yeah, and uh, as I'm filming this though, in Cleveland, today is the last day that the sunset is setting in eight o'clock range, it's 8.01. And then tomorrow will be 7.59, and then just keeps going down from there. But uh, hey, it is what it is. I always do so much stuff, it seems like in the summertime, I don't know where the summer went, uh, but it was fun, but it flies by. It's a blink of an eye. And But I always like the winter time just because it is, uh, uh, I can read more, I can just relax. I'm not rushing from work to go to the parks and do all these things. I just come home and just oh, hibernate like all the animals. So it's kind of fun. But uh, so today's devotional is from Every Day with Jesus by David Jeremiah. And it is titled Authentic Faith. And it's from John chapter 13, verse 35. By this, all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. In the first century, there were many religious groups with which one might identify, and they were all known for something different. The Pharisees were known for their strict adherence to the Torah, the laws of Moses. Sadducees were known as the political party among the Jews. Zealots advocated for the overthrow of Rome by violent means. Samaritans would worship only on Mount Gizirami and consider only the five books of Moses to be from God. And then came Jesus and his followers. They had no geographical, political, or zealous agenda. They were mostly lower class people. At first, they were known only as the way. Later, they were known as Christians. Was that their only distinction? A name? No. Jesus told them if they were his true followers, they would be known by the love they had for one another. This was totally new. A religious movement based on love. Like the love Paul describes in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. That brand of love still applies today. What should distinguish Christians from the world? Authentic love. Love from God, from one another, for our enemies, and for our neighbors. That is the hardest part to do. If someone harms you or anything or harms your family, friends, you always think you want to get revenge and get back to them and I can't forgive them and how dare they, I hate those people. But we can't hate, we gotta love. We gotta not act like the world because that's what the world does. We gotta love one another. As Jesus says, you know, the greatest command is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. I think we all love ourselves we have to deny that love and give it away. So as you go about this week, think about people who have hurt you, who have done things for you. Uh, that's my neighbor, Wayne. We're gonna wave to them. And Rosie, is that Rosie? Wait, no. And uh, yeah, so they're honking, saying hello. So, but uh, but yeah. So think about that as you go about your week. You know, is there is there any hate brewing in your heart for anybody, your neighbor, someone who's done something to you? Who knows? Uh, but just show love to people. Show love to the person who's unlovable. All right, so that's your challenge for this week. Um, I'm gonna go head out to the park, enjoy it. This is like fall weather. All the fall is not for another few weeks. This is great. So that's all I got for you today. All right, love like Jesus loved, you know. And, and here's a good prayer for you. Ask the Lord to that the love that he has for you, to give that to you to love those out there to the unlovable, all right? So that's all I got for you today. Till next time, I love you. Peace. I'm out.